Hello and welcome to this episode of Tavern Talks. I'm the Mighty Cat Herder, here to herd you towards some better games. So today we're going to talk about speeding up combat from the point of view of the Game Master. I'm going to try and keep this uh, system agnostic, but there are some ways that you can speed your combat along and just keep that flow going. These aren't in any particular order, and these are just my opinion. But feel free to steal and use these as much as you want. Number one, group minions together. So if you have a combat with five goblins and one hobgoblin, instead of rolling each of those five goblins' initiatives separately and having to keep track of who went when and where, Give them all one initiative count, and all five of them go on the same time. For that hobgoblin, or whoever your boss monster of that encounter is, give them their own initiative, that's fine. But it will be a lot easier on your brain to know that all of the bad guys have to go at the same time, and a lot scarier for your players knowing that all the bad guys are going to be able to strategize just as well as they can. Number two. Instead of rolling initiative, or instead of rolling a separate initiative for each creature a player summons or hires, have them go either right before or right after the player who controls them. You can discuss and pick one, or let the player decide from one turn to the next, which is what I do. They can put it put their summon directly before or after, but never during. And sure, this allows the player to strategize a little bit more, but that's exactly what the character would do. They would use their friends and summons to their advantage to try and win. Number three. When a player creates a lot of little creatures and they don't have any strange abilities, I'm looking at you, Pixies, let them all attack as a swarm. Give the attack advantage, and if they hit, roll all of the damage. Sure, it's a boatload of damage, but it speeds up the game and lets that player feel powerful as their herd of tiny goats destroys enemies one by one. If it gets hit by an attack, have one of the creatures die, and they roll one less damage die when they attack. Number four. Count up, not down. For most people, it's faster to add something up than to subtract it. When you have a bad guy that takes damage, write the total hit points that he has, and then start adding the damage until you hit that number. For players, it makes more sense to be counting down because they're only tracking one pile of hit points. As a game master, you have half a dozen bad guys running around the field, and you need to keep track of all of them. I guarantee you this will make your game work so much more smoothly. And number five is minions. It's an idea from fourth edition. This is the one thing that isn't as system agnostic. But it's an idea from fourth edition where you take a bunch of low-level bad guys like goblins or guards and give them all the same abilities but only one hit point and they are worth 10% of the experience. Now, the fighter can feel... Like they are a god as they wade through wave after wave of enemy. And you don't have dozen of H dozens of HP trackers all over. It's a win-win for both of you. I hope some of these tips can help speed up your game just a little bit. Let me know if any of these have worked out for you or if you've tried any of these. Until next time, respond with lightning.